Came down here, start spring break pretty much outright and fished the Cabela's Big Bass Tourney. In the case of many college students, spring break consists of clear blue waters and white sandy beaches. For the collegiate anglers descending upon Kentucky Lake this week, the water's not quite so clear and the banks are flooded with cover. Everything pretty much is either stained or muddy. The water's up right now. Uh, you can pretty much do what you want. It's typical springtime fishing with a variety of baits in play to catch fish. The goal is to catch the largest fish of the tournament and walk away with a prize package valued at $5,000. Oh, good fish. That's a good fish. Coverage of the 2018 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley begins now. Give it a boat, Woo! How about that one? Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Big Stewie! New Big Bass of the Tournament. There's your chance, he's right there, folks. Welcome in to Henry County in Paris, Tennessee for the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. 475 anglers have made their way to Kentucky Lake in hopes of winning their share of the $35,000 in prizes that are up for grabs. Last year, this event was shortened to a one-day tournament due to an impending snowstorm that blanketed the area. This year, the air temperatures are cool, but much more stable, setting up just right for these anglers to go find some feeding fish. The fish should be pretty settled down. Um, last year, it was 70 degrees the day before the tournament, and then decided it was going to snow six inches on the ground. We were still able to catch some fish last year. We're hoping we can do the same this year. Flooding has impacted the Midwest, sending large amounts of water down the Tennessee River system. During practice, the lake crested at just over 364 feet. Normal winter pull on Kentucky Lake is 354 feet. Being 10 feet above normal for this time of year, the TVA is working to drop the lake level at a steady rate. This is drawing the fish out of the flooded bushes and setting them up on main lake points where they're easier to target. Right now they're just pulling up. We have some, some cold temperatures currently. So we've had fish going from the bushes, pulling back out to the um, main lake points. And then we've also got fish coming up from the ledges and moving up onto the points. So our fish are reloading every day out on main lake points and we're just been running that pattern. It's not every day tournament anglers are faced with a big bass format event. Normally, the plan is to go out and get the five right bites and put together a good bag. The focus now turns to tricking that one big fish into biting and figuring out when to weigh it in. Throughout the day tomorrow, there'll be four weigh-in sessions. This will give some anglers the chance to weigh in multiple times or offer the chance to wait till one specific weigh-in to bring a fish to the scales. Big bass tournament, you're looking for one bite, one big fish, you're throwing bigger baits, bigger profile baits, stuff like that. You're not just looking to catch five, you're just looking for that one big bite, eight plus pounder or so. The last weigh-in's always the biggest weigh-in and there's the biggest fish brought in the last weigh-in. So uh, this year, I kind of tried to find a few spots close and uh, I'm gonna go fish closer in the first hour or two and try to get a good price the first hour. So hopefully I can catch a four or five pounder in the first hour and go get a price and start the tournament off right. As the boats pull up to the launch ramp at Paris Landing State Park, first cast and the beginning of session one looms just minutes away. The last major ACA event before heading to Pickwick for the championship, the Big Bass Bash is one of the last opportunities to earn valuable school of the year points before a champion is crowned in Florence. Here's a look at the current standings for the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia entering this event. Bethel University is in first place with Northwestern State University in second followed by East Texas Baptist University in third. We begin our on the water coverage with the current School of the Year leaders, Bethel University. The hometown team of Ricky Harris and Kyler Shelmanak are starting their morning just off the main river channel, flipping flooded timber. Almost as what it's done is whenever it was all the way full, it, it, you really weren't catching them up here very good, but it seems like as the water is kind of pulled down, they've all kind of they all kind of pull out and concentrate on the edges of these islands because it gets too shallow on top for them to get. That's kind of what we've been keying on this week. Here we go, dude. Gotta start somewhere, man. 
He ain't huge, but he'll start. Came off a big tree. So that might be something that's happening today. It might be on the hardwood. Coming up, the bite continues to heat up on Kentucky Lake, and the better quality fish start to emerge as well. Oh, good fish. That's a good fish. Stay tuned for more coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we stand together for you. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Welcome back out to Kentucky Lake and coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. For the defending School of the Year champs from Bryan College, freshmen Bailey Fain and Trevor St. John have gotten off to a quick start this morning. The tandem has landed several quality fish that could place well later on today. The area they're targeting appears to be loaded with bass. What it is, it's just a main channel point that runs out of ways. It's got some, it's got some rock on it, and it's got some, uh, it's got some shell on it. It's got too. some shell on it too. And what they're doing, they're just pulling up the spawn. I mean, they're pre-spawners. What they are is what we're catching. Yeah. We're just out here trying to crank it. What we're throwing in is about five to seven foot, and they're every one we've caught this morning has been right on the drop, like right before it goes from like seven to 12 or whatever. Uh, big and that one of them been on the drop. Oh yeah, ready, get me in here. Yeah, big. And uh, we found it yesterday and we scanned over with like, well, we Feed, might need to feeding up on the shed. cast on it. So, and luckily the good Lord's just letting them bite this morning. That's all we can say. We have fish being caught. We have six or eight people in line. This first session is going to be sponsored by Hydrowave. The nine o'clock hour is fast approaching, and anglers are making their way to the stage for the session one weigh-in presented by Hydrowave. How about a 589? That's going to put you way on up there. A 503. How about a 594? That's almost a six pounder. It's apparent early on that five pound fish are the norm for Kentucky Lake today. Trevor St. John of Bryan College has decided to bring his largest fish to the scales and hopes that it's enough to get him inside the top 10. We're looking for a 642. How close are we? Um, not enough, but. Decently close. You're up in the money. A 563. 563. What'd you catch it on? Um, I actually caught it on an Alabama rig. That fish puts him securely inside the top 10. But the man of the hour is Brendan Madden of McKendry University as he walks up to the stage prepared to claim the session one lead. From McKendry, Brendan Madden coming up and he is going to take the lead. We just don't know how much. What's your guess? Around seven. How about a 714? New leader. 714. When the scales close at 9 a.m., Brendan Madden is the winner of session one presented by Hydrowave. In second place is Adam Puckett from Murray State University. And rounding out the top three is another McKendry University angler, Brock Meggs, weighing in with 6.41 pounds. 
Following the conclusion of the first weigh-in, we join up with session one winner, Brendan Madden of McKendree University. Claiming the top prize in the first session has them all fired up, but also relieved at the same time. It, it got me pretty excited. You know, I, I knew it was up there. We, the first, the first look at it, we didn't know how big it was, and we were like, oh, let's just put it in the live and look at it a little while. And uh, we got to the weigh-in, and we figured we should weigh it. We took another look at it. Yeah. And we're like, this, this is a, this is a, a little good bigger than we thought. <laughs> it's a bit of relief too at the same time, we're catching it. Yeah. Now we have, you know, the confidence to get another one. Another team that does not lack for confidence this morning is the pairing of Ty Cox and Alden Keel from Blue Mountain College. This is what we call all this place. The first bite I got on when we pulled up, I lost a big one. I never did see it. I, it didn't fight like a bass, so I'm thinking it's either a drum or a snag the car. So then, I mean, 15 minutes later, I caught the four pounder. I don't think there's a bunch of fish down there I think, it's what ha I think it's what's happening is the reason we're getting bit in such big time spans, you know, a few bites every so often, is uh, just coming and going. I don't think there's 10 fish sitting down there. I think there'll be one down there and then another one might come. You know, where we're sitting at, fish is coming to us because this is a staging spot. So that's one good thing about tomorrow is overnight, it'll just reload. Oh, good fish. That's a good fish. Freaking seven pounder. It's a good one. One of the teams with a lot to fight for this week is Auburn University. Currently sitting eighth in the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Weighing in just a few good fish this weekend could shoot them up the rankings. I know uh, some of the guys we talked to this morning, I know one, one guy on our team, he's already got one that's five and a half, so I don't know if he's weighed yet, but, uh, and then his partner's got a four. And then we got one more boat that's uh, got another four, so. We started off pretty good this morning. You got one? I think so. You got one? Yeah. Hang on now, be easy with it, be easy, be easy. That don't work. That keeper makes their first fish in the box and ensures a trip to weigh in later today. When we come back, we head to the session two weigh in presented by Bob's Machine Shop. And after that, Ty brings his lunker to the scales to see how it holds up against the competition. All that and more when we return. For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. Meet the water's lightest 25 horsepower four stroke, the all new Yamaha F25, the new standard in 25 horsepower portable four strokes. At just 126 pounds, it's got the best power to weight ratio of any 25 horsepower four stroke on the water. With performance that bests the previous Yamaha F25 and features like Yamaha's BTS for precise trolling speeds, batteryless EFI, built in resting pads, and carry handles, it's the perfect portable power for small boats. It's time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent field. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original Powerbait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. 10 forage inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. Reel down to the water until it's rip and drag. Get 
The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Boat US, we're with you on the water. Henry County, Tennessee, a world by the water. Powerpole Shallow Water Anchor, swift, silent, secure. And by Gill, dress like a pro. That is a beautiful Kentucky Lakes ball mouth. They don't get any better than that. Weigh in for session two presented by Bob's Machine Shop is underway. And more and more five plus pound fish are coming across the stage. As we went off to break, Auburn University hinted that their team members had several good fish. Peyton McCord comes to the scales now looking to be the first Auburn angler to place in the top 10 so far today. Looks like we're gonna have a beautiful day to fish and looks like we're gonna have a new leader. All right, Peyton, it needs to be a 568. No problem? Nope, I hope not. How about a new leader, folks? 606. Okay, get that fish out. And that is good enough to claim the lead at the moment. By the end of competition tomorrow, that fish could represent some very crucial Cabela School of the Year points. But Peyton's lead doesn't last for long as Lucas Murphy from Grand Valley State comes to the scales weighing in the largest fish of the tournament up to this point. How about a new leader? 727, way to go. All right, get that fish out. 727, new leader for this session. Been catching a bunch of fish today. Did you catch that one early? What's the story? Uh, well, we came in, weighed in, and we ran back to a spot where I caught a good one yesterday. And my two partners just started going to town on four and five pound fish. Really? And I was basically just filming them. Because you already had a monster. No, I didn't. I hadn't caught that oh. fish yet. And I was like, that's okay. I'll get the eight that's out of there, but that's close enough. <laughs> that's a good story. I guess I know where y'all are headed back to. Here are the final results for session two presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Taking first and winning a new Bob's Machine Shop jack plate is Lucas Murphy from Grand Valley State University. Weighing 683 and claiming second is Jack Hippie of Adrian College. And in third is Boone Faulkner representing Itawamba Community College. Just as soon as session two ends, session three presented by Cabela's begins. Anglers are standing by, anxious to see what their catch weighs. One of the first in line is Ty Cox from Blue Mountain College, who we saw land a giant bass earlier this morning. Ty Cox from Blue Mountain College, coming up next. Ty, all it's got to be is a 625. When you bring a 6 or a 7, or I'm going to go ahead and say an 8-pounder up here, it looks like a 4-pounder. Yeah, sort of. All right, here we go. New leader, folks. 894, new leader of the whole tournament. Way to go. This is not the first time Ty has done well in this event. Two years ago, as a member of the Itawamba Community College fishing team, Ty won the Big Bass Bash with an 8.35 pound largemouth. Two years ago, are you relatively close to where you caught that big fish? About 40 miles. Woo, a long way away. So that makes it more like maybe it's the fisherman? I wouldn't say that, but I'd like to think so. With session three just getting underway, anglers still have plenty of time to go in search of a fish nearing the nine pound mark to take the lead away from Ty. One of those teams are brothers from Bryan College, Chandler and Connor Fogg. Although they don't currently have a fish over four pounds in the well, they're on a good pattern and seem to have something figured out here on Kentucky Lake. What we're doing is we're fishing these small pockets off the main channel, and these fish are pulling in, trying to spawn, and they're not spawning yet because it's too cold. So I think they're just sitting out here kind of in these ditches and a little bit, little bit deeper water. And uh, all they're doing is just waiting to pull up for that right time. So if we can put something in front of them, they're gonna eat. So that's what we're trying to do. This, this bank right here has some gravel and stuff out here, and they're just sitting out here chilling but it's slow and they're not really just biting it they're just kind of just picking it up so you got to really gotta be agitate paying attention. them make them eat it yeah. you really got to be paying attention or she'll miss them every time got one yep. that was a lot better there you go there's people on that a lot better. While the Fogg brothers keep loading the boat, back in Paris, Tennessee, 
Anglers continue weighing in some nice fish. 628, that's a pretty solid guess. 628, 575, it was close, 575. No one's able to top the early lead set in session three by Ty Cox from Blue Mountain College as he earns a $1,000 Cabela's gift card for his efforts. Finishing session three in second, taking home a Cabela's gift card worth $400 and one Mustang PFD is Lance Huber from Grand Valley State. And Jeff Henderson from Slippery Rock University rounds out the top three in this session at 6.24 pounds. It's time for one last break, but when we come back, the final session of day one is underway and anglers are battling to earn the top prize. Coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley continues right after this. base we've got a big line of different plastics and you know they're all a tool so you want to have them with you all the time i made several checks in crowded areas flipping that right there just a six inch big bite creek tail worm here at big bite we came out with four brand new colors this year all four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits definitely my number one go-to bait that big bite has out right now is the big bite battle bug big bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm going to use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works. It works, dude. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Eagle Claw Trocar, the world's sharpest fish hook. And by Bob's Machine Shop. Go fast, go shallow, go efficient. Welcome back to Kentucky Lake and coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Our host for this event is Henry County in the city of Paris, Tennessee. A large number of college anglers have made their way to the area this week, and the locals are receiving them with open arms. Oh, we've got over 500 college anglers in town this week, this weekend, and we're, I mean, it's a, it's a huge impact to us. Our hotels are full, there are boats and trailers everywhere. Everybody in the community is excited. They're asking, you know, which tournament is this? So yeah, it's, it's made a big difference, because people notice when we have a lot of boats come into the community, they know we've got a tournament going on, and they're very supportive, and, and we really appreciate uh, you guys coming here and the kids as well. 
Located in the northwest corner of Tennessee, Paris is a rural community with small town charm, but does not lack for activities and attractions. Downtown offers restaurants and shopping opportunities, and of course, the lake is one of the main draws to bring people in from around the country, which has a positive impact on the local economy. The restaurants are, are, are getting business, the, the gas stations, the quick marts, I mean, we're just, it, it ripples all through our county and surrounding counties. While the tournament supports the community, the community also supports the anglers. Their appreciation for the sport and what these college anglers mean to the future of fishing is well understood. It's just great, you know, these kids, you know, I say kids again, but these young adults getting involved in, in fishing and stuff, because I mean, it, it's just nice to see them outdoors. For more information on Henry County and the surrounding areas, visit henrycountytn.org. We go now to Paris, Tennessee, where time is running out in session four, and anglers are making their way to the tanks to see how they stack up against the rest of the field. Ooh, good day, fish. It doesn't take long for the mark to be set, as Brian Paul of Bethel University has his eye on grabbing the overall lead. He has got a giant one caught, caught it about 20 minutes ago, he said. All right, here we go. 922, that is a monster. 922! With that fish weighing 9.22 pounds, Brian takes the session four lead and climbs to the top of the overall standings. If it weren't for a last minute decision made late in the day, this fish may not have ever been caught. Give me the scenario, how'd you catch it? Well, we went. We really haven't caught much all day. We've been flipping, we've been cranking a little bit. So we went back in this pocket and flipped down a stretch and caught, well, I think, one fish, and then kept going. John's like, should we keep going? I said, yeah, let's keep going. We flipped into a bush, and the rest is history. Once the scales close at the end of session four, Brian Paul takes first place with 9.22 pounds. He's followed in second by fellow teammate from Bethel University, Ricky Harris, and Alden Keel from Blue Mountain College rounds out the top three with 7.21 pounds. Day one action on Kentucky Lake was very impressive. It took at least a five pound fish to place in the top 10 of all four sessions. The bite is on and anglers will look to continue the success on day two here at Kentucky Lake. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. As always, follow us online and through social media for the latest news and events. This has been a Carico TV production. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere, a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali rods. Tournament tested and tournament tough. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24 7. Visit boatus.com.